Hello. Welcome to Mogelson Art. I'm Deb Mogelson, and today we're going to work on Mocha Dream. It's number two in the coffee cup series. Just have to touch up a few things and we'll finish it up today. Uh, you can look at other videos at Mogelson Art on YouTube. And um, I just took the liberty of getting the background fixed right now and just added a little more gold over here. I'll have you look over here. And I added a little more white and just put a little more um, drama into the background and a little, little more pure color. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm working on this white part of the cup. I have a little pink in here. I'm just picking up some purples and blues and things like that. And I'm letting the background come through a little bit just to have some color. I don't want it to be stark white. Fix up this um, hand a little bit. I had to go a little bit darker in the background just because of this white. But white can be a um, very powerful color. And very stark to me, just like black can be. Just a few things to do, and then we'll finish this up. I'll go on to the next one. Adding more color down here. I'm actually picking up the background a little bit, which is kind of fun. With acrylics, you have to work a little faster. Golden has those open acrylics right now that stay wet longer and they're easier to work with but I find that I if I stay too stay with one color too much and get all tight I um, lose the spontaneity of the painting process so I like to keep it a little bit spontaneous and freer just add a little bit of um, manganese blue here. I'm not going to get into the white, but I just want to put a wash over this. Purple is coming through. I'm going to use a little Katsura blue on this end. Tighten up that edge. Just to have some dark. I want to play against the dark and the light again, like I did before. I don't want to have it look too solid. See, and I'm having that compost glue come through, and that's really a lot of fun. But I'm just going to have some fun here and drop some color in. This is Katsura Blue. I don't really need to do too much with my background. Um, I, I like that down here with the checkerboard. I'm using Katsura Blue down right here for the um, handle because it's going to be darker. And just shape up this mug a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go with the round brush. Katsura Blue again. And I'm just going to add a little detail right in here because I want this dark in here, especially against the white. I'm worried about the shape too much. And then I have an aqua blue right up here to add a little bit of the lightness. Just being a little careful. Going right into that. Then I'll put a little aqua blue also on the handle. Being careful not to get it too wet. I want more pigment this time. But I'm going to go right into that Katsura Blue and add a highlight. Maybe a little bit over here too, just to add a little lightness. This will just mix right in with that Katsura Blue. 
So inside now I'm going to have the coffee and I'm going to take an orange and a blue and I'm going to make a brown because this is a mocha but I don't want to get too muddy. I want to keep it warm. So I've got a lot of orange in here. So I've got that wet and then I'm going to come in with some more Ketzer Blue and I'm going to just drop that in there. Make it dark. So it actually does look like coffee. And that'll dry. I like the orange coming through. Now I have some red. Where'd my red go? I always like to have a little red. I love red. Never did before, but I love it now. And I'm going to take red and just bring it alongside here as a accent. I've got a lot of blue in this painting, so I want to add a little red just for a little punch. Maybe put a, little, a red in the coffee too. I'm taking red really, really with a lot of water in it now for the steam. And I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of aqua blue and it's just more of a real light pink now. I'm going to see what that looks like. But I'm just going to use that now and very gently make the steam. I already have little lines here to direct where I want to go. And I can see them. I don't know if you can see them on the video or not but they're there for me so that I can see what I'm doing. And there you go. I'm all done. I'll varnish it, put all four, 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 four coats of varnish on there. I won't frame it. I'll paint the sides black and it'll be ready to sell. See you later. Keep painting.